This week on Machinery Pete TV, it's all about haying equipment today on the Sauter Family Auction. One of the hottest items on the market is the New Holland H7230 disc mine. We discover just how far the auction business has come from the folks at Wilson National. And Pete follows the historic rise of used tractor prices as they break the half million mark. Your machinery is a serious investment and at the heart of every farming operation. Some call it a passion. We're Machinery Pete TV, and today we'll cover everything from auction roundups to the classics to the latest trends and technology. Machinery Pete, the most trusted name in farm equipment. Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. A&I Products is a lower cost, quality replacement part solution for all types and ages of ag equipment across all brands. Visit AIProducts.com. Hey folks, welcome to Machinery Pete TV. I gotta tell you, my camera guy extraordinaire Russ Natusko and I were watching a special episode on TV last night on Willie Mays, the Say Hey Kid. We both love Willie, number 24 and all time great. Now today, we're gonna focus on hay equipment here in Galleon, Ohio, very nice uh, small farm sale. But before we watch this beautiful stuff sell, we gotta go back to the studio and catch up on the latest farm equipment news. All right, thanks Pete. I'm Clinton Griffiths. Some positive developments in the latest Rural Main Street Index. The new survey of rural bankers from Creighton University shows for the first time since May, the region's overall reading rose above growth neutral. The December index increasing to 50.1, just above that growth neutral threshold of 50, but up from 45.7 from back in November. The researcher behind the survey, Ernie Goss, says bankers expect this year's net farm income to expand by 10%. Shoppers don't appear to be buying groceries online like they used to. A monthly Brick Meets Click grocery shopping survey found total sales for the online grocery category down 10% from a year ago in at $7.7 .7 billion in total. Experts say the year-over-year -year drop was driven by fewer households buying groceries online combined with lower order frequency and less spending per order. Tackling the opioid issue in rural areas continues. The American Farm Bureau Federation says of those polled, 60% say adults in their community are more aware of the crisis than they were five years ago. However, the survey also says more rural adults believe there's a higher rate of drug misuse in rural communities than in the rest of the country compared to five years ago. And two in five or 42% of rural adults say they know someone who is or has been addicted to drugs or prescription painkillers. This year's bird flu has now become the largest foreign animal disease outbreak in U.S. history. USDA now confirming more than 57.5 million birds have been impacted. The latest cases involving three large egg farms in Colorado, South Dakota, and Washington State, with well over 1 million birds at each. Now let's check on some recent auctions from around the country. Now back to our host, Machinery Pete. Hey folks, don't touch that dial. Coming up, very sharp round baler here. We got a 2013 John Deere 459. Hey folks, a real treat here in Galleon, Ohio. I'm visiting with Roland Sauter. Roland, we were talking to your boys, Kevin and Steve, about the auction. You have a couple sharp sons. I do, I do, I really do. And you mentioned December 1955 was kind of a big month for you. Yeah, it was when I bought my first farm. 
And that was just down the road? Just down the road, one mile, 90 acres, 90 and a half acres. And that was at an auction? No, it was at a, it was at a lawyer's auction, I mean. Okay. And you went with your... Grandpa. And what, you said, you were telling me he had a little signal he was going <laughs> to... Yeah, he told me, he says, now, well, don't you bid on anything until I bump your knee. And we wasn't there very long, and I didn't know who in the hell was bumping who. <laughs> but you got it bought. I got it bought. Wow. How much, and what, what was the price back then, December 1955? $11,500. For how many acres? Ninety and a half. Wow. We, we've come a long way, Roland, haven't we? <laughs> Awful long ways. All right, folks, time for a very nice round baler here. We got a 2013 John Deere 459. Now the sixth highest I've ever seen sold at auction between 26 and 27,000 bucks. Average price on a 459 last year was $19,050. Up a little bit this year to 20,508. I got 17, give 18. 17, give 18, I'll leave it about 18 down, daughter. I got 17, give 18, thousand. I got 17, give 18, I'll leave it about 18, thousand. Daughter, give 19, I'll leave it 19, I'll leave it at 20, 20, 20, I'll leave it at 20, down to you. I got 19, 20, 21. But I get a 21, I'll leave it about 22, 2, 2. I'm going to leave it at 22, I'll leave it about 22,000 and 23. But I get a 23, down, daughter, buy. I'm going to get 22, get 23. I got 22, get 23, 3. I'm going to leave it about 23, down, leave it about 23,000 to you. I got 22, get 22, 5. Get 22, 500. 22, 5. Thank you. Now 23. I'm on my floor. Get 23,000. 22, 5. Get 23. 22, 5. Get 23. Get 23, 5. Mark. When you get to 23, 5, 5. I'm going to leave it 23,500. I'll buy it. Make it 23, 5, 5, 5. It's a day. Make it 23, 5. 22, 5. Thank you. Now 24. When you get 24. 24 there. I'm going to leave it 24,000. I'll buy it. Now I'll get 24, 5. Whoop. When you get to 24, 5. 24,500. Don't lose them there. Get 24, 5. When you get 24,000, 5, 500. I'll buy it. I'm going to leave it 24, 5, 5. Make it 24,000, 5, 500. I'll buy it. I'm going to leave it 24, 5. Get 24,000, 5. Five hundred dollar buy, make it twenty four five. Last call, twenty four five. Thank you. Now twenty five. But you get twenty five all lines after twenty five thousand. Last chance, last call. Give me twenty five thousand dollars there. We'll leave it twenty five all in, oh dude. So twenty four thousand five hundred dollars on the floor. Well, folks, we got a 2009 Anderson inline wrapper here. Not something I run across every day. In fact, the last one I saw was a couple years ago on a sale in Brilliant, Wisconsin. Kind of average condition. I think it went for fourteen thousand three hundred bucks. Is that a yes, sir? 17. Give 18, sir. What do you give 18 down here? 19. Yep. What do you give 19 down here? 19. I'm 19 down here. I'm 18. Get 19. Get 20. Get 20. Have a 20. Now, 111 one. in the blue. Get 21. What do you get? 21,000. 21. Is that a yes? Lucas, 21. Get 2. Get 22 down there. 23. Get 23. Lucas. What are you able to get a 23 down here? 23 down daughter there. Get 22. Get 23. 22 here. Get 23. 24, 4, 4. Make it 24,000, sir. Make it 24, 4. Where are you going to find it? Get 24. 23. Get 24. Thank you. Get 25. What do you get? 24. Get 25. 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, $24,000. Here are a few more items that sold on today's sale. So, $8,000. Anybody else want in? $7,500. Last call. Get seven, get seventy-five hundred, seven thousand five hundred, all in, all dude. So, seven thousand dollars, one thousand one, get one thousand one hundred, one thousand one hundred, make eleven hundred dollar day. I'm gonna leave it one thousand, you're out, James, get one thousand one, one thousand one hundred dollar day, I'm gonna leave it eleven hundred dollar day, I'm gonna leave it to get a one thousand one hundred, all in, all dude. 
Sold $1,000. $1,800 online. Reactive $8,800. They have a little bit of money. 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 They Machinery Pete TV is brought to you by Germinator Closing Wheels. Germinator Closing Wheels provide quicker emergence and are more consistent in dry conditions than any other closing wheels. Order 12 to 16 rows today and qualify for free shipping or 20% off an end zone moisture management package. What's that piece of equipment worth? Check out Machinery Pete's auction prices for the answer. Free to view, updated daily, all types of equipment. Go to machinerypeat.com and click on the auction tab, then auction price data. Hey folks, a real treat here. I'm with Mark Wilson and his father Marvin Wilson with Wilson National. And Mark, hey, great to see you again. Welcome to Ohio. It's always fun to come back Thanks to Ohio. For, you always bring the cold weather. When yes. You, you know, from Minnesota hey, maybe, I don't know. It, it's a gift, I guess, but yeah. uh, I apologize. <laughs> yeah, right. But uh, Marvin, I'm so glad you could come out today. And we need to hear the story. Now you got in the auction business, what, it was 1958? 1958 at 23 years old. 23. Yeah. Okay. And what auction school did you go to? I went to a Ripper School of Auction Aid out yeah. in Indiana. Okay. Everybody knows where that is. Well, Mar 64 years, Marvin. I tip my hat to you. That's an amazing uh, career. Do you remember, like, the first farm that you sold? Well, the first farm I actually sold was a 100 acre farm. I had a barn and a house that was mostly tillable. Okay. Brought all the price of ten thousand dollars ten which was probably a king's ransom back then wasn't it <laughs> yeah wow. anyway that's the times you know right. back in 1958 well I'll, I'll turn it to you mark what's it been like working with your father it's been a great privilege and um, um, you know trying times at times a family business as always and uh, you know and him growing me up when I was young and uh, you know in this business and teaching me but couldn't have had a better teacher uh, couldn't have had a better life you know uh, just being able to work with family my dad and uh, and now my son you know uh, uh, Brandon that works with us and uh, so it's it's been a joy it really really has and and uh, uh, I learned as he was teaching me. I've learned now how to kind of teach my son. Okay, okay. maybe I didn't understand it when when I was that young. You know, now I do understand it. Greetings, everyone. My name is Ron Stock of Big Iron Auctions. Big Iron is America's trusted name in auctions, from farm equipment to real estate to livestock and classic cars. We offer full service support to every one of our sellers. In 2022, Big Iron Auctions merged with Sullivan Auctioneers. And what a huge benefit this is for our customers. Truly, we are better together. We pride ourselves on consistently exceeding customer expectations with our huge selection of equipment, large bidder base, and full service approach. There were countless amazing stories again this year, like the Colorado FFA Foundation who contacted Big Iron to help auction off Aggie, a 1950 Chevy 3100 stepside pickup donated by American Ag Credit for the benefit of the mission of the FFA Foundation. Aggie went home with a Colorado buyer and the trailer used to haul Aggie was bought by a Nebraska bidder. These buyers generously helped secure agricultural education in Colorado with their purchases. And we'll never forget Brenda Knopp of Federalsburg, Maryland, who lost her husband, Tom, and made the decision to sell his farm equipment at auction. She gave Big Iron a chance and has been pleased with the hard work and dedication of the Big Iron team who helped prepare her sale. Now, someone else will be able to use and enjoy Tom's equipment 
as much as he did. This isn't a job for us. This isn't work. It's an honor. And here we are together to enjoy family during Christmas and set our goals and dreams for a new year. We thank you and wish you glad tidings and all the best in 2023. Got equipment to sell privately but tired of scams and hassles? Visit MachineRepeat.com and click Sell Mine. MachineRepeat.com, the simple and secure way to buy and sell equipment online. Okay, folks, we made it to our feature item on the show today. 2013 New Holland H7230 disc bind. I tell you, good used disc binds have been scorching hot here. In fact, two of the three highest auction prices I've ever seen on H7230s have come in the last nine months. Well, folks, coming into the auction today, the average sale price this year on a New Holland H7230 disc bind was $14,138. Very strong bidding on our feature item today, the 13 model, not used since 2018. It sells for $20,000. Man, things sure do change fast these days, don't they, folks? I suppose that's the way life's always been. I don't know about you, but I find it helpful and interesting to look back in time to see how far we've come, how fast. Now, if we talk tractors sold at auction 20 years ago in the year 2002, I only saw 10 tractors all year crack the $100,000 mark at auction. And the highest price all year was $143,000 on a dealer auction in Dyke, Iowa, where a 2001 Case IH STX 440 quad track with 571 hours on it sold for $143,000. That was the highest 20 years ago. Zoom forward 20 years till today, 2022. Well, last 12 months, I've seen five tractors sold over $500,000 at auction, including four from mid-November to early December. The first one sold on a farm auction November 16th in Emory, South Dakota. This 2017 John Deere 9570RX, 540 hours on it went for $531,000 on an auction by Weeman Land and Auction. Then on a December 5th dealer auction in Larchwood, Iowa by the Steffes Group, this 2021 John Deere 9620R four-wheel drive, 908 hours on it, sold for $509,000. Same sale had this 2020 John Deere 9620RX, 1,284 hours on it, sold for $574,000. And that was the all-time record high auction price I'd seen on a modern tractor. And folks, that record lasted all of three days until December 8th on an online farm auction in Imperial, Nebraska by Sullivan Auctioneers where this 2022 KSH Steiger 540 quad track with only nine hours on it sold for $582,000. So yeah, we've come a long way in 20 years. Well, thanks for joining us on Machine Repeat TV in Galleon, Ohio today, folks. You know, it was 71 degrees here two days ago, and today on the auction day, we're getting a few snowflakes. I think I've dragged my Minnesota weather with, so I apologize to all our friends in Ohio here, but cold weather, but hot bidding. And hey, we'll see you back here next week on Machine Repeat TV. Machine Repeat thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers. Let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com 
ANI Products is a lower cost, quality replacement part solution for all types and ages of ag equipment across all brands. Visit AIproducts.com.